Most of the website templates in the Designs Gallery have two types of background. There's a wide pasteboard background that extends across the background of the whole browser window when your site is exported. And then on top of this sits the page background with the various other elements that make up the web page. When you open a new web document, the page background is transparent by default and the pasteboard background is white by default. There's also a faint guide outline which allows you to see the position of the page background against the pasteboard. If you drag a colour from the colour line onto the pasteboard, the entire background becomes this colour. Drag another colour onto the page background and you'll see that the page background now has its own colour. You can use the colour editor to change these colours. Right click on the pasteboard and select Pasteboard Background and then Edit Pasteboard Colour. Or right click on the page background and choose Edit Page Colour. There's also an option to reset both the backgrounds back to their default white colours. If you have a long web page that can be scrolled in the browser, then what normally happens is that the background scrolls with the page. You can change this so that the page slides over the background as you scroll the page. Just right click on the pasteboard and select Pasteboard Background and then choose either Fixed or Scrolling. If you want to use a photo as a background then just import a photo into your web page document. You'll receive a prompt. Choose the Add option. Then right click on the image and select either Set as Page Background or set as pasteboard background. If you choose set as pasteboard background the image will tile over your pasteboard background and will appear tiled over the entire background when you preview the page in a browser. If you don't want the image to tile then right click on the pasteboard background and untick the tiled option in the pasteboard background menu. If you then select fill browser window then the image will fill the whole of the browser window when you preview in your browser.